that's when I usually wake up. I don't try to go on my phone, so I'll just like see the time and then I get straight into like journaling. I do my five minute journal every morning and then I'll read for like 10 minutes, literally maybe just like a chapter or so. And then if I have time, sometimes I don't, I'll look at my planner and see what I have going on today. But if I don't make it to it, then I'll just look at it when I get to work. I really have like a strict routine. So like I do the same exact thing, wash face, brush teeth, drink my oxy shred a really helpful tip for sleeping early these would be like my top three so one i went to bed at nine o'clock last night i would say going to sleep before 10 is like the biggest game changer for me two there's like a sweet spot for when i wake up and feel good versus what time i wake up and feel like really tired so i noticed that when I set my alarm for 6 a.m., I feel really tired when I wake up um, at that time. But if I wake up anytime before 5.15, I would say, to so like 4.35, 5.15, I feel really good. You have to listen to your body and see what like feels better for it. I used to literally, like I was the one who was late to school every single day because it was just really early for me and i was not a morning person and i never thought i could become one and i would wake up like on the weekends at like literally like 12 or 1 p.m so you're very capable of waking up earlier if you want to it's just all about like playing around with what works best for you you can also just try setting your alarm 30 minutes earlier and 30 minutes earlier like over time until your body gets used to it. I have so many alarms, so it really just takes being consistent, sticking at it, like give yourself like time to get used to waking up early. And three, have something you look forward to. Breakfast is my favorite meal of the day. I love my morning routine like it's something that I look forward to because it's just me time I'm journaling I feel like really energized um, and I'm just able to like have a clear mind in the morning I think this is one of the things that I look forward to every morning um, aside from the gym I love this drink like, I think it just puts you more in the mindset of like Okay, we're getting ready to go to the gym. I like the gym. I saw this TikTok and it was like, everyone needs a fun little silly drink to get them through life. And that's so true for me. Like, whatever you have for yourself in the morning that you can look forward to. Look how cute this Gymshark set is. It has the little flare leggings. You're kidding. This is so cute. Such good quality. Like, I'm literally obsessed. And this is what I pack in my gym bag so I can go straight from the gym to work. So these are my scrubs. And then just like things to change into, always take my planner with me. I'm just eating my breakfast. I don't usually have time to like eat at home but i woke up a little bit earlier today so as long as i leave by 5 45 but i'm going to say 5 40 then yeah i'll be good this is just three egg whites and i just have something really light before and then i will have like a bagel after i brought um my own bagel from home to eat after I'm sitting outside of the gym now. It's 5.40, so I got here at a really good time drinking my Oxy Shred. <laughs> I'm just finishing it, and I'm deciding if I want to bring my camera in. I'm a little bit shy, <laughs> and this is, like, not the normal gym I go to. I just started going to this gym, actually, and... Um, the owner's super nice. I love it here. The vibes are really good. I'll show you guys like the view from the gym. 
spectacular like you can literally see it's on the beach basically anyways let's go so a change of plans i'm at my other gym because i forgot to wear flat shoes and usually when i come here i just kick them off and i don't know if you're allowed to do that at the other gyms so. this is a private gym so no one goes here except for like people with a key um so yeah i just didn't even want to like feel dumb and get asked to take put my shoes back on so and usually gyms don't let you go barefoot so we're here today which i'm not mad about it because i want to squat and i like doing leg like, day here because it's called the glute lab i mean it makes sense <laughs> Today's a silent workout. I got my chalk on. We're doing a superset, 45 degree hyper, and then step ups. Um, and then I'm gonna finish up with like a hip thrust um, type of lower weight, higher rep workout. And we'll be good. <laughs> listening to a podcast right now one more set and we gotta go i changed into my work clothes i am off to work perfect timing too plus i have my bagel here i just warmed it up in the microwave and I'm going to be perfectly on time for work for once. <laughs> I work as a full-time medical assistant in dermatology. And it takes me about 30 minutes with no traffic to get to work. And usually there's no traffic at this time. And then I get off of work at 5. And then after work, it's a lot more busy. But um, yeah, so I get home around like 6.15, make dinner, and just like do my little night routine which is just me like doing time or taking time for myself I thought I'd talk a little bit about my job like while I'm driving because people ask me like how I got this position so I was in college and I um, was pre-med and then I went to like my school's like pre-med counseling and had like a mentor and stuff so she helped me become a shadow for a doctor at this job this is um it's a dermatology job and i just shadowed for a month and i got like volunteer hours and whatever and i was just working towards pre-med and then after i finished shadowing her i was interested in becoming a medical assistant but i knew that like you had to have a certification which i didn't really have time to do since i was a full-time medical assistant getting a phone call I asked her if I could be her medical assistant and because we really got along so she said that she would just train me on the job which is I got really lucky and then um, yeah so I've been a medical assistant ever since and since then I like switched jobs I just recently got a new job at a different office and um, but I'm still doing the same thing I scribe for doctors 
and I was on a pre I changed from pre-med to pre-PA and I work with a lot of PAs now who make me like see the potential in being a PA like they have a really good work-life balance but I'm still undecided I like really do want to work on my business I have a small business right now called Girl Gains it's a female weightlifting club and we're on 60 college campuses so I, I don't know I see a lot of potential there and that's like my ultimate dream is like being my own CEO we have merch and we're working on like how we can really expand and make this like a sustainable career I have a team of girls who work with me Jocelyn and Karina they're my two like literal ride or die is like we are just die hard for girl gains and we really wholeheartedly believe in this mission and the future of it so i do love my job too though like i love working with patients and just that whole medical side i feel like whoop, i feel like i'm really good i'm really smart and a quick thinker and uh, i would be a really good pa not to like hype myself up but to hype myself up Guess who got Starbucks and is now probably going to be late. Yeah, that's really basic of me. <music> of work now, finally, it was a little bit of a long day because it was kind of slow. I'm going to be giving a presentation to a college campus for girl gains about like how to live your best life and like unlock your true potential so yeah i'm really excited i'm gonna mention it prob probably in every video but girl gains is a female weightlifting club i founded at san diego state and now we're on like 65 college campuses so i offer to speak on zoom at all of them like anyone who wants to have me and I've been doing like so many so far I have a lot more scheduled so yeah I'm excited the inner work is like the I'm about to do my slideshow and these are some of the slides join I got some feedback from my last presentation and they wanted it to be a little more interactive so I'm going to have the girls like pull out their journals and kind of like write along with me and um, then I'm going to do like a little sharing activity so everyone's going to like share their responses and I think that will make it more interactive. And like stretching in the morning because it was something that I used to do really often but it got super hard with like the semester and all these classes. Okay, so then which one are you applying? What is like one technique that you're going to try to do to like ensure that you do it? I'm probably getting up earlier and like going to sleep earlier because it's like I want to make sure I'm like eating really good, like substantial meals. And that can be really hard when I have like work and then That's so true for me too. Like I have to make everything at night or else in the morning I'm just gonna be scrambling so okay I just finished the talk and I try to make it as engaging as I could um yeah I'm tired now and I want to eat dinner so I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna get ready for bed I don't think I want to record because I'm tired this is what happens like people like ask me for my night routine but then I'm like I can't do it because I'm so tired after work and I just want to like really zone in on me but maybe i'll like you know show my dinner plate or something and then you know what happens after that i just go to bed so yeah thanks for watching in case i like don't end up recording anything and i hope this helps please like and comment and give any feedback i love knowing what i can improve on and what you liked what do you want to see more of and so yeah let me know subscribe and all that. <laughs> Thank you.